the matrices, inverses, equations, and using a calculator. That's what we'll look at here. Matrix A, B, and first thing we do is find the inverse of A. Let me just get these matrices in my calculator. If I'm going to use some matrices uh, a few times, best to put them in the calculator memory. And to do that, F1 matrix, and I've got my matrix memory in the calculator here. I shall dim F3, dimension this, and A is a three row by three column matrix. Just put that in. Go, takes a moment, but it's in. Now I've got matrix A in the memory and I can use that as I wish. And just to save a bit of time, I'll put matrix B in the memory. Dimension, three rows, one column, and put that in. There it is, and I can call those matrices back onto the screen if I wish. Shift button to matrix and alpha A, matrix A, there it is, okay. Right, things to do, I need the inverse of matrix A, so let's have a look at that, matrix A and inverse, we use the negative one power to signify an inverse, and if I do that, there's the inverse matrix. Let me just write that down, inverse matrix, I'll use the fractions rather than the decimals here, a little bit tidier. It takes a moment just to write it out. There's my inverse, and to check this in inverse, what I can do here is if I do the inverse multiplied by the matrix itself, what I should get is I should always get an identity. And although I can be reasonably sure that's gonna happen, I'm just gonna show how to do that. So what we have is matrix A inverse, and if we multiply that by matrix A, then I should get the identity. There it is, ones, without ones in there are unit matrix. So that's all working well and good. Part B, a matrix equation. What we have to solve matrix equations, we solve these like any other equation. Same to both sides to get what we want. We're after x here, so I'm going to multiply both sides by the inverse of a. Order matters, so if I put the inverse of a at the start, I need to put it at the start on this side as well. And this will give me the identity matrix, the equivalent of one. And so to find x, I need inverse of a multiplied by b, and I should have my answer. So back to the calculator. Inverse of a multiplied by, and I put it in a bit earlier, so I should have it there and ready to use. Multiplied by matrix b, and there we go. That's the x, y, z answer, 5 two, three, until my x, y, z there, five, two, three, and that's my question finished.